All right, so what's up? My name is Nick Patterson, coming at you with another one. This one is about my head mouse Nano. So this is my other form of using my mouse on my computer. Um, so I use many different devices. Um, my main two is my head mouse and my Bluetooth joystick. I made a video about the Bluetooth joystick um, and now I'm making a video on my head mouse. Um, yeah, so before you go into it, you want to hit a like, you want to follow, whatever works. I mean, I'm going to keep making videos, hopefully they help. Um, and with that, I'm going to hop right into it. So my Head Mouse Nano is a camera that sits on top of my computer up there. I'll show you when I switch over to the GoPro. And you, you might notice in some of my videos that I've got a pair of sunglasses that have no no lenses in them. Um, just to clarify, I don't do that for style. I, I, I no no, that's not why I wear them. Um, the purpose of me wearing them is that you might see this reflective little dot on the middle of them. Um, and the thing is that I've got a camera on top of my computer that picks up the I think it's the reflection off of that, and therefore moves the mouse on my computer. Um, it's pretty awesome. I mean, makes a world of a difference in my life because I've got a lot of arm and hand pain and like not having to use like a mouse or my joystick is just, it, it makes a huge difference in my life with pain and everything. Um, so yeah, literally like, so I just, I mean, you could put that sticker on your nose, on a hat or on whatever, as long as it's getting picked up. Um, so I, I just I've got some extra Ray-Ban frames because I'm a distributor of Ray-Ban sunglasses somewhat um, like display models and such but I won't go into that so some scratched ones I just pop out the lens and I put it on that and I stick the sticker on there and um, therefore like when I move my head it moves the mouse which is really really awesome um, and so I, I started off using that with my Mac OS computer, my iMac, um, and there's a setting inside of uh, Mac OS that is called dual click. Um, of course, one of your questions may be, how do you click? Um, because it moves the mouse, but how do you how do you click without actually clicking? Um, so, on Mac software, it's called dual click in the in the accessibility settings, and it's so that when you hold the mouse in one position for whatever you set it to three seconds two seconds one second I put it to 0 0.8 seconds um, so I hold my mouse in one spot for that long and then it clicks um, and then you also have the setting to like you can make it a left click you can make it a right click you can make it a double click you can make it a click and hold etc um, pretty great software um, but when I when I switched over from Mac to Windows, um, Windows doesn't have that that setting in its accessibility setting. So um, I was kind of like, oh, like how? What am I going to do about that? So I, I looked around and I found that you can actually download a dual click software um, that, honestly, in my opinion, works way better than the the Mac OS software um, dual click. Um, yeah, I really like it. And basically, it's just a little window on your main screen. I put it like up in the top right corner, and top left corner. And yeah, you just that's how that's how it works. But I'll, I'll switch over to the GoPro so you can see firsthand how it works. Um, but yeah. All right. So like, so you'll you'll kind of see. I didn't plan to actually make it so that the camera is looking at me, but I kind of it kind of works out. Um, so look when I move my head it moves the mouse so I go around and yeah like it's pretty it's pretty awesome so anyway so now I've got my dual click software up here it's this little gray bar um, and what it does is so this one if you hold it there then it turns it off this one over here is your left click this one over here is your right click this one's your double click this one's your click and hold. Um, so if you hold that, then it, it moves that around, etc. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, and then 
Basically, there's also a keyboard button. So if you click that button, it opens up a little mini keyboard. Um, and yeah, and then you've got your settings with it. So you can like turn off the sound, you can make it target size, dwell time. So dwell time means how long does it, how long um, for, until it clicks. Um, yeah, and like the beauty of having it on my Windows software is that, um, I don't know if you can see because of the brightness of the computer, but you can have it so that this dwell click actually starts up on the startup menu when you're logging into your computer, which it makes a huge difference when you don't have your fingers or hands, hand movement in order to type in your password and you need your dwell click, but it doesn't, it doesn't start up when you start up your Mac, or at least it didn't when I had my Mac. Um, but yeah, so that's how it kind of works. I got click and etc. Yeah, up, down, left, right. Um, so if I go up here and I turn on the right click, it will right click and then yeah, etc. That's that.